Hi everyone, Donut here. How are you doing today? What a crazy week it's been once again. I did go to a Black Lives Matter protest, uh, kind of accidentally. They were having a march through the uh, main street of Fort Mill, which is where my skate shop is, 5-0 Skate Shop. And I heard that they were going to be peacefully marching through, so I bought a bunch of waters and some ice and put them in coolers and sat them out in front of my skate shop for some people. Well, they ended up stopping at the bottom of the hill before they came up Main Street and, and stopped their rally there. So we were like, hey, these people are probably thirsty, so we just rolled our coolers down there and set up our sign and said, free waters for protesters. Everything's been really cool out here, man. We brought the uh, the water to them because I don't know if they're dispersing from here or coming up the shop and we don't want to waste it all, so. I'm getting a few hateful messages for this and a few hateful comments for this. Like, why would you do that, Donut? Why why would you give Black Lives Matter protesters water? It's because I'd like to think I'm a decent human being, even if I don't agree completely with someone else. It's something that we all can do, and it feels pretty good. What I believe in is the Constitution, and our First Amendment said that they could peacefully gather there and protest. I appreciate the peaceful part, which is why I took down some waters. I also stand with them in solidarity to end police brutality or, you know, be against police brutality. Something that I have been against since I started this channel and I often call out police brutality when it actually happens. So I just wanted to start this video off with telling you guys that, hey, if you don't agree with someone, that's okay. You can still be nice to them. Something that no one on the fucking internet understands. <laughs> like I said, it was super peaceful. I didn't stay around for the kneeling down part. I kneel for no man unless it's the Queen of England who is a woman and she's giving me a knighthood. The only thing that was really disruptive was a, a Karen looking white lady with orange Karen hair and a shitty little yappy dog came up and started yelling at all the protesters, which is absolutely her First Amendment right. She, she was screaming something about vote Republican and then someone turned around and was like, what? And then she said something along the lines of something, something, what that brother up there said, and, which is also within her First Amendment rights, but that was kind of racist, Karen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. I don't agree with what a lot of Black Lives Matter does. That's why you won't see me spamming their hashtag everywhere. I do believe Black Lives Matter, though. It's okay to disagree with someone. You can still be civil. Guess what? You want to do a little riot review? I've actually got a big, huge, throbbing riot review for you guys featuring Angry Cops, Brandon Herrera, the AK guy, and Batty that I still need to edit. But today, we can do kind of a smaller riot review because a few things have happened the past few days since we all made the big riot review. Huge. Huge. Oh my god, did you guys realize that the roof Koreans are back? Check that out. This has nothing to do with riots. I just want to know which one of you made this. Ah, this is a pretty good one. You got a couple little white kids here looting a van store. They turn around and police are directly in front of them. This is actually amazing, and I love this. You know what it looks like? It looks like that Elmo meme when he's angry and the flames are behind him. This took place in Denver. It looks like we got one person standing in front of a big, giant metal vehicle with officers tucked inside of it. Guess what officers have? They have some of them paintballs with spicy air inside of them. They did shoot them with paintballs with spicy air in them. Genius. This has nothing to do with a riot. It's kind of a protest, but it's just a beautiful human being with his big black rubber flaccid object. Craig said he met this guy named Ibu. Ibu told me he came to Seattle from Linwood to protest. He was holding a large black floppy cylindrical shaped object and was waving slash shaking it at all of us. He looked at me and said speechless, right? I told him I had many thoughts, but many of them were, many of them were not appropriate for a public forum. I said we should get some news stations with their cameras here and have them interview me while he stands in the background. I said he should give me his cell and I would text him when we are dispatched to a hostile situation because his presence and dialogue would immediately de-escalate any tense situation. I said to the folks who were there that someone should come up with a hashtag for this and make it trend without missing a beat ricky said hashtag de-escalation dildo and the rest is history no 
Oh, you guys need it. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. I'm biased. I'm biased. <laughs> no, you gotta be biased. You gotta be everybody. All the departments. I don't know about you guys, but I love the de-escalation dildo. And quite possibly one of the most beautiful mustaches to come out of the protest. I'll show you right here. Not close. Ricardo. Ricardo. Nah, that ain't close. What is it? Oh, hold on. Sergeant, Sergeant. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. He right there. Right behind you. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. He right there. He right there. All right, all right, he gone, he gone, he gone. You good, you good, you good. <laughs> Up next, something that has nothing to do with the protests. Uh, San Francisco news station put this tweet out, and here's the title to it. Bay Area saw no new COVID-19 deaths today for the first time in three weeks. A local bartender and spirits maker was arrested on child porn charges, and the Richmond man found eating his dead grandmother has been charged with murder. This news agency knows that you can... Use one story per tweet. You don't have to jam all that together because that was quite the roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Protect and serve review. Protect and serve review. Protect and serve review. First up, good luck, Minneapolis. The oh shit, did you guys hear about that? Hold on, hold on. Minneapolis has the city council has voted to disband their police department. I, I'll make a whole video on that one. So good luck, Minneapolis. These guys are ready to keep you safe. Everyone else, let's defund the police and give the money to social workers so they can respond to mental illness incidents instead. Social workers. <laughs> Disband the police. Put money into social work. There's an active shooter. There's an active shooter. <laughs> I'm the dumbest man alive. I think we should defund the police, but I want more police with better training. <laughs> you are clearly dumber. Me trying to figure out how less funding leads to better police. Oh, hold on. Here's some more riot review. Cops versus protesters breakdance battle. When the jail department joins the lines, protesters calling me a murderer, me writing up inmates for taking extra milk. <laughs> Barber school length, 1500 hours. Police academy length, 840 hours. Let that sink in. Commercial pilots with 250 hours. <laughs> the protests have gone too far. Cops listen to Nickelback. Friends, how are you holding up in the current climate? Cop, bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. People want police department fund slashed. People get slower response times and poor quality cops because of lower pay and lowering standards. <gasps> no way. Oh, this is just a cool picture. I can't skip this one. Secret Service sniper walking through the park in Washington, D.C. That is rad, man. Yeah, I guess that's all I got for you guys today. I didn't have anything really planned other than throwing something together and talking about the current situation of things. I'm going to be making more videos this week about it. Got some good topics lined up I think you're going to enjoy. I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator, cooking, drinking, having a good time. Come hang out with me. Use your Amazon Prime account to subscribe to me for free over there. I got a Patreon. I got a merch store over at Bunker Branding. All sorts of ways you can help support the channel because anything I make about the protests and riots and about this whole situation is going to be demonetized. Until next time, everybody, please have a fantastic day.